Available now. Link below. In an astonishing turn of events, we've just uncovered a bombshell revelation that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Former President Donald Trump is taking an unorthodox approach to selecting his vice presidential running mate and is unlike anything we've ever seen in the history of politics. Sources within the Trump campaign have leaked explosive details about a process that can only be described as high stakes, drama-filled, and, well, a spectacle. As the nation holds its collective breath, potential candidates are reportedly being put through a grueling gauntlet of challenges and evaluations, all under the intensive scrutiny of Trump himself. This unconventional method has ignited a firestorm of speculation and intrigue with supporters and critics alike clamoring for more information. And this exclusive special report will take you inside the inner workings of this unprecedented vice presidential selection process, unravel the strategic calculations at play, explore the far-reaching consequences for the upcoming election, as well as give you an inside look at Trump's boardroom from someone who was there. Now, you don't want to miss our shocking insights and final thoughts in this major shift in the political arena. Now, folks, before we dive into this game-changing report, a quick word from our sponsor who makes this groundbreaking journalism possible. Just like Trump's unconventional approach to selecting his VP, smart Americans are finding innovative ways to save at the pump amidst rising gas prices. Thousands of drivers are outsmarting greedy oil companies with this amazing little device right here. You can see it in my hand. This intelligent fuel-saving gadget easily installs in your vehicle, optimizing performance to slash fuel consumption by up to 25%, boost power by 35%, and increase torque by 25%. The first month savings alone cover the device's cost. Experience incredible fuel savings with an exclusive 50% discount at ReduceMyFuel.com, plus a risk-free 60-day trial. Don't miss out on this limited-time offer. Unlock 50% off and free shipping now at ReduceMyFuel.com. That's ReduceMyFuel.com for unbeatable savings and performance. Now, in a move that blurs the lines between politics and entertainment, former President Donald Trump is reportedly adopting an apprentice-style approach to selecting his vice presidential running mate for the upcoming election. According to a top advisor, the process is shaping up to be both a captivating spectacle and a calculated strategic play designed to energize the Republican base with a potent mix of suspense and drama reminiscent of Trump's television background. Julia Manchester of National Politics, she's a reporter for The Hill, she shared her insights on the development with Fox News, emphasizing that Trump's penchant for drama and suspense aligns perfectly with his supporters' expectations. Watch. House former President Donald Trump's search for his next running mate is starting to get serious, we are told. A top Trump advisor reportedly begins the process of narrowing down the list with plans to draw this out apprentice style. OK, you have our attention. The Hill National Politics reporter Julia Manchester joins us now. What do we think? <laughs> well, Sandra, this is no surprise to me because we know that Donald Trump really likes the drama and he likes the suspense. He knows that his supporters like to watch that. So they'll appreciate how this process is going to be drawn out. But really, we've already seen the process playing out, I think, on cable news. In fact, watching a number of these potential contenders essentially audition, really, when they do interviews and, you know, speak out in public at Trump campaign events and such. So I think we're already seeing seeing this in motion, and former President Trump is watching closely. Why not do it like American Idol? Everyone could just phone in their vote. Now, sources close to the Trump campaign believe that the selection process is entering a critical phase with efforts underway to narrow down the list of potential candidates. The approach, mirroring the format of Trump's hit reality TV show The Apprentice, suggests that contenders will face a series of challenges or evaluations closely monitored by Trump himself, while a captivated audience of supporters and political analysts watch with bated breath. Offering insight into The Apprentice experience, former contestant Tana Gortz, well, she shared her first-hand account of the show's intense boardroom scenes with me on my podcast called Back to the Podcast. And she recalled the grandeur of Trump Tower, the emotions of going up against younger competitors, and the lessons learned, such as never letting others see your weakness. She also shed light on the contestants' interactions with Trump himself, which were limited in the early stages, but increased as the competition progressed with rewards like breakfast in the penthouse for winning project managers. Watch. So what lessons do you think you picked up like on that show? Oh, I learned so, honestly, I learned so much. 
Um, I learned a few things that I actually have a whole presentation called Lessons Learned from the Boardroom. Just a few of them are never let people see you sweat. Man, if they know your weakness, they'll expose it. Well, um, and you and you would go into the boardroom yes, on that show. Right. And from what I was told, the boardroom originally was an actual boardroom and then they made it into a set. Correct. So were you going onto a set or were you in the original one? Uh, I was in the original one. Oh, really? Yeah. I was and where was was that in Trump Tower? It was in Trump Tower. Gosh, that was I. I mean, I just brought myself right back to walking into that marble, incredible uh, front foyer with just like the smells of exquisite perfume and the smell of money. And I took the escalator up before I was gonna walk into the penthouse, and just the emotions of here I am, a, a mom from Iowa going up against all these 22, three, four, five, six year olds. And I was willing to kick ass. And did I, they, did I did. they, did they discount you? Like, uh, they, like, oh, here's a mom from Iowa, yeah. you know, like, yeah. we're, we're gonna, we're gonna wipe the floor with her. Right, like, look at this lady, she's a mother. Like, she's super sweet and nice till they met me in the boardroom. And um, they're like, yeah, what is she doing? She don't stand a chance. And I just kept wiping cleaning house and every every week somebody was going 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 and it wasn't me so it was really cool I learned so much so what was it like working with him how much how often was he actually involved in a lot of those things because you see that when you watch the show yeah. you see him pop into a challenge and he kind of surveils with his trench coat on yeah, you know yeah, and yeah. he's just like all right, he's the big boss, and he's looking, okay, all right, you look good, this looks good, this is good, this is... So, I mean, how much of that... Obviously, we know reality shows are largely staged for the most part. This was sort of a hybrid. It was a game show, hybrid uh, strategy, business show. Um, so when, when these events would take place, how much interaction with Donald Trump did you have? At the time, earlier on, not much. We'd get the tab, he'd reveal the task, so we'd see him there. Um, we'd have him poke in a little bit here or there, not all the time, and then to announce the winner of the task, and then the, the boardroom where somebody gets fired. So maybe four times, 15 minutes each time, so not much, but the longer you go, then the rewards. Like when I would win as project manager and I got to have you know, breakfast at his penthouse with Melania and the kitchen table, Yes, that's a DeLorean time machine. Now, just as The Apprentice contestants faced a consistently evolving playing field, Politico reported that the list of potential VB candidates remains in flux. Names like Tim Scott, Christy Nome, Byron Donalds, Elise Stefanik, Tulsi Gabbard, and J.D. Vance, praised by Trump as a fighter, have all been considered at various points. Much like his approach on the show, Trump frequently seeks input from Mar-a-Lago guests on different opinions, and, true to his flair for suspense, teases his choices in private meetings and interviews. As selection process unfolds over the next coming months, the nation is poised to witness a political spectacle that promises to be as captivating as the boardroom drama that wants to find Trump's reality TV reign. He's going to draw this out apprentice style. That's what someone revealed, a person close to the Trump campaign who was granted anonymity to speak freely. This unconventional approach to selecting a running mate has sparked both intrigue and controversy, as various advisors and allies weigh in on the process. Senator Tommy Tuberville cautioned against taking speculation too seriously, noting that Trump often asks for opinions on potential candidates without necessarily indicating his true intentions. Meanwhile, Kellyanne Conway, former senior counselor to Trump, stressed the importance of focusing on a candidate who can contribute to both winning the election and governing effectively in office. Now, in a thought-provoking opinion piece for the New York Times, Conway delved into the intricacies of selecting a vice presidential candidate for Trump's potential return to the White House. It's titled, Who Should Be Trump's Number Two? And the essay kicked off a conversation about the strategic considerations behind choosing a running mate. And she argued that the selection process should prioritize compatibility, loyalty, and the ability to govern effectively over political calculations designed to win specific demographics or states. She suggests that the traditional approach of balancing the ticket geographically or demographically might not hold the same weight in today's polarized political climate. In drawing on lessons from the past, Conway highlighted the pitfalls of selecting a running mate who doesn't fully align with the presidential candidate's agenda or style and subtly referenced the tension between Trump and his former vice president, Mike Pence, especially in the aftermath of the 2020 election. 
to illustrate the importance of ideological and personal harmony between the top two figures on the ticket. Her essay also challenged the notion that selecting a female vice presidential candidate is primarily about appealing to female voters based on gender alone, arguing that political success hinges more on shared values and vision rather than on gender. And she pointed out, that despite the majority of voters being women in 2016, Trump was able to win the presidency over Hillary Clinton. Now, several potential candidates of color were mentioned in the essay, including Marco Rubio, Tim Scott, Byron Donalds, Wesley Hunt, Ben Carson, and Vivek Ramaswamy, highlighting the diverse range of opinions being considered by the Trump campaign. Now, in January, Dr. Ben Carson addressed rumors regarding his potential vice presidential candidacy alongside former President Trump. While Carson remained reticent about specific discussions with Trump. He emphasized their shared commitment to saving this country. Take a look. This is also one of the reasons President Trump is doing so well in the polls. Has President Trump contacted you to be his VP? Uh, I don't want to talk about what we've talked about, but we've, we've talked about what can we do to save this country and that we will work together to make sure that America remains America. There's yeah. so many things that are going on right now. You, you know, compromising the DOJ, using it to injure your opponents politically. These are things that occur in, in China and Russia and Cuba. Those are not things that are supposed to occur in this country. Yeah. And we should be alarmed, and I think the American people are alarmed. Do you see uh, more support from the black community for President Trump? Absolutely. Uh, I used to go to places and be the only black face. <laughs> not anymore, not by a long shot. And I think people are starting to recognize that the Trump administration uh, was on the side of black America. The things that they enacted were extremely positive. The Opportunity Zones, HBCU support, all of these things were fantastic. And I think he's going to have so as the campaign progresses, Trump's unconventional strategy for selecting a running mate may set a new precedent for how political campaigns are conducted, blending elements of entertainment with serious political decision-making. Well, the effectiveness of this approach in securing electoral victory remains to be seen. It undoubtedly marks another chapter in Trump's unorthodox political journey, captivating the nation and sparking intense debate about the future of American politics. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. As we've seen, Donald Trump's unconventional approach to selecting his VP is poised to shake up the 2024 election. By drawing on the strategies that made The Apprentice a cultural phenomenon, Trump is injecting incitement and engagement into the electoral process. While some may argue that this reality TV approach cheapens the gravity of the VP selection, but the American people are tired of the same old political playbook. They crave authenticity, entertainment, and a deeper connection with their leaders. And Tana Gortz, a former Apprentice contestant and Trump advisor, will she attest that the skills that made for success in the boardroom, quick thinking, adaptability, grace under pressure, are precisely what we need in our nation's second highest office. By embracing the drama and competition that defined his reality TV reign, Trump is tapping into the zeitgeist of our times and laying the groundwork for a battle-tested VP pick. In an era of unprecedented challenges and opportunities, this bold outside-the-box thinking is exactly what America needs to thrive. As the Trump campaign's apprentice-style VP selection unfolds, we may be witnessing the future of American democracy in the making. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.